Hello and welcome to final stay at the Macau Open 2014. A tournament part of the Badminton World Federation Grand Prix Gold Series, a tier just below Super Series levels. We are in Macau, the island just outside Hong Kong, known as the Las Vegas of Asia. Beautiful historic buildings alongside the best modern technology has got to offer. The multi-sport pavilion in the heart of the city with a spectator capacity of approximately 3,000 people. A tournament dating back to 2006 and a permanent fixture of the International Badminton Grand Prix Gold Series since 2007. This being the last tournament of 2014 Grand Prix Gold Series, a total of 10 tournaments and it all started in Lucknow, India in January. We have got an exciting lineup for you this afternoon, starting off with the mixed doubles, Danny Krishnanta and Vanessa Neo of Singapore, against the youngsters and former world junior champions, Eddie Subakcha and Gloria Vijaya of Indonesia. This is followed by the women's doubles and all Chinese affair, Wu Dongni and Xiao Han Yu against Ya Kyung Huang and Zhong Kyung Sin. And this is then followed by the women's singles and for the third time, for the third tournament in a row, with no Chinese participation. The big surprise, only 18-year-old Kim Hyu Min of Korea against PB Sindhu of India, who has won bronze at two consecutive world championships. This is followed by the men's singles, the fast up-and-coming Sui Song of China, against the experienced Wang Wing Ki of Hong Kong. And finally, the men's dombos, Aga Pratama and Riki Suwadi of Indonesia against Danny Krishnanta and Chayut Triachat of Singapore. And here we have spectators in this beautiful sports pavilion, all ready and eager, looking forward to today's matches. And uh, we will soon have the uh, speaker of this stadium announcing the players onto court. And here we have the technical officials with the umpire, Justin Su of New Zealand, leading uh, the players onto court. Danny Krishnanta and Vanessa Neo from Singapore. And the tall and lanky Gloria Vijaya from Indonesia with her partner, Elisa Subaccia. They have won World Junior Championships, both of these young Indonesian players, but not together. One won it in 2011 and the other one in 2012. And here we are ready for the presentation to the spectators in the stadium. And soon we will be ready to commence the two minutes warm up. And first we have toss of the coin, deciding who is going to serve and what end to stay. And I think the Singaporeans, they won it. And the Indonesians, they choose to stay on the other side, facing this, the camera. 
And here in the picture, Gloria Vijaya. She's uh, turning 21 next month and is born in Bikazi in West Java. She's 182 centimeters high. And as I previously said, she won the 2011 Mixed Doubles World Junior Championships. And her partner is Eddie Subatia. And he's just 20 years old. And he won the Asian Junior Championships in men's doubles in 2012. And he won the World Junior Championships in mixed doubles in 2012 as well. And for you who followed the uh, broadcasting from yesterday, we'll see that uh, Danny Krisnanta and Vanessa Neo from Singapore in the picture here. They uh, won their semi-final yesterday in a thrilling match. And uh, Danny Krisnanta will turn 26 in December. And is actually born in Indonesia, became a citizen of Singapore in 2013. And uh, Vanessa Neo is 27 years old and born and bred in Singapore. The partnership have a best ranking of nine, but presently they are 15 in the world. And here we have the uh, officials from New Zealand and from Thailand. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Neo Yuyen Venisa, Chris Santa Danny Bawa, Singapore. And on my left, Eddie Supatia, Gloria Emula Wiyajaya, Indonesia. Neo Yuyen Venisa to serve, to Eddie Supatika. Four. Play. I think so we will have two combinations One. here. Love playing kind of the same style they both of them prefer to be on the attacking side of the game so it will be interesting to see who will gain that initiative as quickly as possible uh, an interception here by Vanessa Neal a little bit lucky on the so net call one all Short. So it's over. Two, one. And that's what we saw yesterday. Danny Krisnanta is really having some problems with his uh, with his serve now and again, and he, he really have to try to hold it together in this match. But that, this is perfect attacking play by the Singaporeans. So over. Two, all. So on the account of net courts, so it's, over. it's one all, Three, one for Singapore, one two. for Indonesia. But the score of the match is obviously 3-2 for Indonesia. Four, two. Yeah. 
Very good by Gloria here, the way she's serving and then ensuring that that shot, the return of serve, Five, just two. blocked over shortly over the net, was intercepted straight away. And that was a really good play. That's uh, one of the most important things for the women's in the, in the mixed doubles is to take control of that net and really do it very efficiently. Three, five. This was really one of the favourite shots by Danny Krisnanza that he missed. He likes to play that cross court from the backhand side, short to the backhand side of uh, his opponents. But Vanessa Neu is not so taking no for an answer. She is really challenging Four, once again, and uh, that's what it's all about. Get the initiative at the net as much as possible. Oh, that's a good smash. Very, very good smash by Elisa Baccia. So we over. Seven. Yeah, good serve it was, but very good return by Chris Nanta. Using that mid-court area, playing the softer shot, way, opting for the so softer option. And that was a good choice, setting him up very nicely. Seven. Uh, Vijaya, another good block here. It's all about that initiative at the net. The two ladies are really fighting it out. This time Six. with the winner, Seven. Vanessa Neo, Singapore. Right, that's going way wide of that so it's over. middle line. Seven. That was a poor serve Eight. by Sabakja. <laughs> but the Indonesians are maintaining a two point lead. So it's over. Nine, seven. A nice return. Very, very good return by Vanessa. So it's over. Yesterday we saw she was doing that Eight, on some occasions as well. Nine. Pushing it right deep into that forehand corner. It proved so effective. Over. 
Yeah, good defence, good constructive defensive shots by Vanessa Neu here, really applying some pressure. Look how flat it is. Excellent play. So will the Indonesians go into the mid-game interval with a two-point lead or will it be ten all? We're so much wiser. It will be 11-9 for the Indonesians. Service for called. While we're having the interval here, I can mention that the two young Indonesians, we did not really go into that. So they have a present ranking of uh, 51 in the world. And seconds. their best ranking ever. It's been 33, and that was actually just three weeks ago. The best results, they uh, got to a semi-final of the Indonesian Masters and uh, of the Malaysian Grand Prix Gold, and both of these tournaments this year. 11, 9. Play. Oh. Over. 10, 11. And a little bit of interesting statistics here is that the young Indonesian combination has only played seven tournaments so far on the international circuit. But despite they've only played seven, they have actually already met their opponents of today twice. And it's in the head-to-head -head a one or between these two pairs and last time. It was the German Open in 2014 13, where the Singaporean 11. pair, they won. Bad luck, but really well covered by Gloria Vijaya on the straight shots down the line prior to the miss from Danny Krisnanta, as we saw here. But she covered that straight down the line so well. So a good healthy lead, four points, 15-11 for the Indonesians. But once again, service. 15. Fault called. Good return. Really good return here so it's over. by the youngster. 16, 12. And maintaining the four point lead. 16, 12. Good serve again. And once again. That challenge at the net. 13, 16. So it's over. 17, 13. Over. 14, and we're having a 
a typical doubles match here. A lot of concentration, a lot of focus on the service situation here. The serve, the return, and that third shot. And as you can see, lots of pressure on the server. So game point has arrived for the Indonesians. 20, 20. game point game 15. Point. So 15. five in total. Convincingly, first game by the two by young Indonesians here, Gloria winning 21-15 in just 14 minutes. But once again, I think one of the, uh, I wouldn't say the secret statistics behind this is Chris Nanta's serve. He has served uh, on a number of occasions and out of these services, Twice he's made a mistake on the low surf, and on three occasions he's flicked it, which means that he feels very, very insecure when he's, he's serving. And obviously when he's flicking the serve as well, he's giving away initiative. And that's talking about in five different incidences here. And that could possibly be the difference between winning and losing as what they did here in this first game, 21-15. Yesterday in the semi-final, this young Indonesian pair, they were quite fortunate to win against Huang and Huang from China, losing the first game 21-15, coming through 21-18, and in the last deciding game, 22-20. So that was a very, very close call. Thank you. 20 seconds. 20 seconds. Second game. Lapo play. Uh, most likely, I think we will have or we will see a more attacking Singaporean pair here. I think they have played a little bit on the defensive side in the first game, and I think they're all out here to try to change it. It's over. One, all. Uh, Chris Nantes is saying that uh, Gloria was touching the net, but I don't think she did. I think the umpire made a very good call here. But once again, very impressive the way she's covering the net. Really very decisive. Oh, that would have been a winner. That would have been a winner. The two opponents way 
away from that shot. And lucky to get a point here. Two one up for Singapore. Yeah, look at that slip. Just a very minimum of perspiration on the court and that what happens, the players are slipping, it's, it's so important that it's always wiped and clean, so things like this doesn't happen and injuries doesn't occur. Oh. And wide again. So it's over. Three, two. Oh, that's going way out. Almost hitting uh, the red carpet. Two. But it's just a sign. Obviously, it would have been out anyway, but it's, it's a sign of the drift in the hall. It's going sideways. And it's going from left to right as what we're watching it. Five, two. That was good attacking play by the Indonesians and a very nice turn over. over when uh, Subaccia came to the back and Six. helped his partner no, on the attack. And there was a change over in, in the smashing situation. Done very nicely here. Yeah, hopefully, if you look at it from the Singaporeans' point of view, this tournament should be a turning point for them. Since August this year, since the World Championships in Copenhagen in Denmark, this pair has lost the first round in every single tournament they played in Hong Kong, in China, in Bitburger, in French, the Denmark Open and the World Championships. So... That gives six tournaments in a row where this pair so has over. lost the first round. So this Seven. is a welcome break in the final Five. of the 2014 Macau Open. Can they go all the way? 7-5 up, but having lost the first game, 21-15. So and unfortunately, six. once again, Seven. another service mistake by Chris Nanza, and I am sure that ne next time he's serving, he will flick it. Ah, that's good defense. Very, very good defense. Seven. But somehow I think that Chris oh. Nanza is looking a little bit disheartened, dispirited. Not happy with his performance on his serving, and then that smash there was not any good either. Eight. 
eight, seven. Oh, that was going long. Once again, good interception. Oh, Vijaya here at the net, but very, very unlucky to push it too far, too long on that baseline. And the result is in level eight all. So Indonesia went to the mid-game interval in the first game with a margin of 11-9. Will they be able to do it again this time? Nine, Which means they have to win the point now. And let's see Chris Nanda if he's flicking or not, but I am convinced he will be flicking. He did not. I am impressed that he hold his nerves and really played the low serve. Shows good character here. Very, very good character. Oh, what an ambitious shot to play. What an ambitious shot. Try to have a look at it here. Good interception. Look at that. That is ambitious. <laughs> and this time, Singapore goes to the mid game interval. One point up. 11-10. And the match has been in progress for the last 25 minutes. I am, though, however, ever pretty sure that we will see a lot of these, the two young Indonesians. They have done so well in this tournament and uh, been as high as I said, Thank you. as 33 on the world ranking, having only played seven tournaments this year. So obviously it's uh, the optimal to play 10 tournaments on your world ranking because your 10 best results of the last 12 months is counting towards your world ranking. Play. Good attacking play by Singapore. This is definitely their favorite formation. The attack started off by Vanessa Neo and then finished off by Danny Krisnanta.
Yeah, that was a bit of a sitter. That was an easy opportunity here missed by Gloria. And I am sure she knows she's not happy with that shot. And that could be maybe the opener for the Singaporean combination here. 13-11 up. This point is crucial. 14-11 would mean a lot. But it was not to be well defended by Vijaya, Gloria Vijaya here. And forcing Vanessa Niu into a mistake. Only, not only, I must say, a drift sideways from left to right as what we're watching, but there's also from this end we're watching towards the further end. There's a drift that way as well. So the Indonesians are playing with the drift as well. And sometimes it's very hard to control when you're playing with the drift, but it's not been the biggest of problems so far. Good interception there by Vanessa Neal. Really, really well spotted, taking off the pace and playing it into that mid-court area. Very nicely played. Wonderful block look here. Just taking the pace off. Good shot. Yeah, she's reading the game so well, isn't she? And playing very aggressively, aggressively at the net. It's nice to see. She's got the reach. Six foot tall. 182 centimetres. The Indonesians do favour sometimes to have that attacking formation with Gloria at the back and Eddie at the front. Uh, this time it did not pay off, but they really, really tried their best. Good defence, though, by the Singaporeans. Look at this beautiful block shot here. Very nice. Into the mid-court area between the two players once again.
put a smile on the face 17. of Gloria Vijaya. 16. She knew that she would never have been able to get that one. But unfortunately for Chris Nante, it wasn't going over. It was played nicely, but somehow the execution let him down. A huge celebration here 18, from Sabatia. 16. Edging closer and closer to a possible victory. Good defense. Eddie. Eddie. Eddie Subata. Eddie. No, don't do this way. So it's over. 19. Wait. 17. Getting close here. Oh. Yeah, that's setting it up. Three match points for the young Indonesians here. 20 match point, 17. 20, match point, 17. Turn. Setting up a nice attack for Singapore. Yeah, nicely done. Very nicely done. Saving the first Let one here for Singapore, but still 18, another two to save. 20. And I must say, in all honesty, I think the lock is on the Singaporean side as it's Vanessa Neo to serve. Steady server of the two. Can she hold her nerves? 18, 20. Or will the Indonesian pair go 2 1 up in their head to head? <laughs> two saved. 19, 20. Sure, we might see a block on the return to get the lift for Subaktia to try to go on the attack. But let's see. Let's see if that's the case. 
Saved match point number three for Singapore. 20 all. 20. And very good serving all. by Vanessa Neal here. She really held her nerves, kept it together, and Singapore is back level. And yet another match point has arrived. 21-20. 21 20. There was some positive return by Danny Krishnanza here. Try to have a look at it again. Look how positive he went on that one. I am sitting here wondering what would have happened if Gloria Vijaya had flicked that one. But we will never know, will we? And that's what I said earlier. Singapore so lucky to have Vanessa Neal to serve 17-20 down when it really, really mattered for the Singaporean pair here. She had to do the serving, and once again, the serve was letting Chris Nanta down and giving match point number five to Indonesia. And saved yet again. As you know, one has to win with two points. 24-22 or 25-23. Or when it comes to 29 all, it's sudden death. That's well saved by Vanessa Neu. It's a good lift. A very difficult situation. Good defense. Oh, mamma mia. Very, very, very good defense by the Singaporeans here. I can understand the celebration. Really had to defend that very hard. Got one chance, one opportunity to attack and managed to finish it on that one. Game point for Singapore, 23-22. This time saved by Indonesia. We're having a real, real thriller going on here. 23 all. Will it go the full distance all the way to 29 all? And sudden death, 30, 29. I've never had the opportunity to commentate on a match like that. And as you can see, there's still lots and lots of points in it. Should we be able to get to 29 all? Oh, the umpire, I think, is uh, allowing quite a long break here. Players to towel down, recompose, getting ready. Oh. That's in, that's in, that's in. 24, 23. From the position where I sit, I definitely think it's in. It was close, but it was in. And the umpire is off the same opinion and 
definitely do not want to overrule on that one. Yeah, it looks into me. I think it's a little bit of uh, wishful thinking from Vanessa Neal. So, match point number six. Will they be able to convert this time? Did well to save the first one though. But was brought to his knees. Look at this. Yeah, can't get up again. And it's landing right in front of him. How frustrating that must be. It's a real seesaw we're having here now. Second game point for Singapore. And once again, I have this feeling that he will flick it. Does he dare to play the low serve? He missed it last time. Yeah, the flick and the service fault was called. 25. Yeah, that's the danger when you have to flick so often. It's called to fault, and also this time for Danny Krishnanta. And obviously, he's not very happy with that, but uh, nothing you can do about it. 25 all. It's edging closer and closer to the 29 all. was actually a good chance to take, I think, from Chris Nanza. He was going with the drift sideways. 25. Chances were that that would, would have been going out, but stayed in just on the line. And giving match point number seven to Indonesia. Who dares wins, they say, I think, on many of the match points they've had so far. They have been hesitating a little bit, kind of scared to play the shots we've seen them play earlier in the match. Will they now be able to play it? Obviously, they don't have the experience yet. There's still a very, very young combination. 21 years old and 20 years old. Look again, look again. She's getting scared there. Gloria Vijaya, she's not as proactive as she was in the beginning at the net. She's leaving it for oh. partner, really do not want to get into that. And that's well played by Vanessa Neal. 26 all. Pressure is on. 27, 26. Gloria Vijaya turning 21 next month. Really, really disappointed with her own performance here. But saving the game the point. The third game point, the third opportunity for Singapore. All. Missed as well. 27 all. We're having a real cliffhanger here. Great badminton to watch. Very exciting. And 
Kovacic, he played the flick that took really a lot of courage from Gloria Vijaya to do that. And straight away, the Singaporeans asking the service judge, wasn't that a fault? Wasn't given. Match point number eight for Indonesia. Lots of hesitations from Gloria. That's going long. She is definitely not in it. She is too scared to play. Baba is having a quick look at her. Here, Eddie had to step in front of her. She is really a bundle of nerves. Find it very hard to move, dare to play. And it's 28 all. That wasn't going over. And 29, game point 28. Suddenly, we are not too far away from the 29 or 29, 28. Singapore having its fourth game point of the match. Yeah, he holds his nerves. And here we have it, 29 all. I said earlier, I've never been commentating on a situation like this, and suddenly it did arrive. I joked a little bit, saying at 23 all, there's still a long way to 29. And here we are, sudden death. Next point is either a win for Indonesia, or we're going into a third and decisive game. Pressure on the server. Pressure on Eddie Subatia. Can he hold his nerves now? Good serving. Really good serving. That's going wide. And what a disappointment. In the eyes of Eddie Subaksha. Having not been able to convert on nine match points, the Singaporeans converted here on their fifth. Yeah. It was a cruel, cruel faith, and here we got the confirmation, 21-15, 30-29. Wonderful to witness how great it was. I hope you enjoyed it just as I did. So it's all about for these two youngsters to recompose, get back into it. Another game to play. And I'm sure they have learned vital skills for the future to come. So we're treated to a third game here in this really great mixed doubles finals at the 2014 Love Macau ball. Open. Love all play. Play. 
both. Service over. One love. And I think that Danny Krishnant is asking the umpire to have an extra look at Sebastian when he is returning services because he felt that he was moving too early. You are not allowed to move before the shuttle is struck. And uh, Krishnant felt that Sebastian was moving too early. Service over. Two, one. Service over. Two, three. Yeah, that's neat. Very, very nicely placed Service into over. that deep forehand corner. Four, two. And interesting, because that was a, a return of serve that took courage to play. And now. Gloria Vijaya had the nerves and courage to play that shot, which she did not have at the end of that second game. And it just shows that how much she felt under pressure just five, five minutes ago. Two. A good start here for Indonesia. Having failed to win the second game, I think they have done really well. Getting over the disappointment of not being able to, to clinch the victory in two. I think it shows good sign here. Six. Being first now 6-2 up, now 6-3. So far. Yeah, it's difficult for Chris Nanta here. Right. He's kind of choosing between a few evils. If he flick it, he might be faulted. If he flick it, it might go out in the baseline. If he plays a low serve, he might miss it. So, you know, lots of problems <laughs> he's facing on his serve. So it's over. Four, seven. Yeah, good attack. Very good attack. Closing the gap to just Five, two points. Seven. doesn't get much bigger than that. <laughs> wow, Six. what a miss. It really, Seven. really doesn't get bigger than that. Yeah, she's shaken. Something's over. 
eight six. And this match is now just two minutes shy of the hour mark. 58 minutes is played so far. Good serve. So it's over. Seven, eight. seeing here it's a small delay Nine. the referee is Seven. just coming around the court and asking uh, one of the spectators not to use flash which obviously is very disturbing to the players yes here came from the announcer please don't use flash it's disturbing the players Is just cautioning uh, Chris Nanta not to show too much aggression towards his opponents. So, 9 all it is. Indonesia was 6 2 up, but now it's 9 all. But I think it's, as I say, interesting to watch this match and uh, obviously. Nine. Gloria Vijaya is still a very young player. She's just turning 21 next month. But it's interesting to see if you compare the first game where she was scoring points, very proactive at the net, really taking ch uh, chances and challenge her opponents and all that, scoring points. And the Indonesians won 21-15. Now they're struggling big time because she is not scoring any points at all. If you notice how many points 11, it's up nine. to, it is about to score. Change and ends. that is obviously a huge difference for the two Indonesians. She's got to get back into it. She's got to start scoring points if the Indonesians are having any hope of winning this match. But at the mid-game interval here, they are 11-9 up. Twenty seconds. Twenty seconds. Coach, keep the clock, please. I think the umpire should 11, keep a firmer nine. grip on this match. So I think it's a quite a huge time delay here. Time wasting. 
before the players are getting ready to play. It's 11-9 for Indonesia. It's over. 10, 11. That's short Sorry, again. Twelve, ten. I must say, I've started to lose count on how many mistakes that Chris Nanda has made on his surf. Four, thirteen, ten. Over. Yeah, nicely set up. 14. By Vijaya here, the smash cross court to Vanessa Neo. She was not able to really defend it well enough. Gave a good opportunity for Zubacha to get into it. Nice low serve. Oh, falling again, same spot. Singaporeans are up. Oh, they're back up on their feet. I was just about saying, and the rally continues. And Vanessa Neal. 11. Played a mistake. And Indonesia once again is four points up. 15 11. Can they hold on to this lead? This time, will it be possible for them? I still feel. That Gloria Vijaya really have to get into it somehow, start scoring some points, gain a little bit of self confidence, and start playing with her partner and helping 15, him scoring the points for the partnership. 11. Uh, nicely done. Once again into the mid-court area. 15. Once again proving to be so effective. So will we have a flick here? At least Chris Nante is uh, serving against the drift. We'll keep it in. So it's over. 16. 12. Yeah, I don't know what to say. <laughs> it's a terrible situation for the Singaporean born in Indonesia. Became a citizen in Singapore in 2013. So it's over. 13, 16.
Wei Long. And Singapore once again is closing the gap. 16-12 and now it's only 16-15. Return, really, really good return 15. here by Gloria Vijaya. But that's actually, in all honesty, the first time since the mid-game interval where the Indonesians, they were 11-9 up. That's the first point that Gloria Vijaya is actually scoring. And that was on that return of serve, just trying to stress the point that I uh, made earlier. She's really having to start picking up and getting that confidence back. But look at that shot there. And look at the body language. She is in dire straits. 16, here. 17. But I think they should take comfort in the fact that they are still up. They are 17, 16 up. They are four points away from winning this tournament. They should take lots and lots of Eddie. courage in this. Don't do that again. Okay. Yeah, do it now. But very fast, okay? Yes, have a So, Eddie's about to ask to get his shoe, ask to be able to redo his shoelaces. I don't think the umpire really allowed him, so uh, by showing that it's needed. 16, 17. So drove home a point here, but the umpire is still not happy, say so don't do that again. So, 16, 17. Will the flick serve come now? Yeah. That's three services in a row. That's three services in 18, a row from Chris Nanta. Serving 16. in the net. And the two best players on court are definitely Subakche from Indonesia and Vanessa Niu from Singapore. They are able to hold it together. But can their partners do the same? Seventeen, eighteen. That's a nice time to choose to start really playing some good returns of serves here by Gloria Vijaya. This time into Thank the mid-court area. But this time, once again, it was a winner. Like the previous one, she pushed deep into that backhand corner. So two winners from Gloria Vijaya here in the picture since the mid-game interval, 11-9. Thank you. So Two points away from victory. 1917 up. 17. Will they be able to get another three match points here if they win this one? 2017. But let's see. 1917 is crucial. Good serving. And complete hesitation between the two so sorry Indonesians here. 18. I am convinced that Sabaccia was expecting Gloria to take it. So, will we have another serve in the net or will we have a flick serve? If I was Sabaccia, I was we I would be waiting for that flick serve. Oh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool played. Yeah! 
and suddenly it's 19 all. And both pairs just two points away from victory. 19 all. Say I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I am absolutely speechless. <laughs> Giving match point away. And Indonesia is having their tenth match point of the match. So, 20 all, and we are back into setting, just like the second game. <laughs> Will we get to 29 all? No, I don't think so. I really, really don't think so. But uh, let's see, it's all up for the taking. Good return of serve. <laughs> Look at Sabakja. So it's over. 21, 20. So match point number 11. She's been a very steady server. Gloria Vijaya, so why not this time? Can they convert? 21 20. Good serving. Yeah. And that's out. Yeah. That is out. They won it. 21 15, 29 30, 22 20. A match lasting an hour and 16 minutes. And it took 11 match points before these two youngsters. They clinched the victory in the Macau Open 2014 final of the mixed doubles. Here we got the confirmation. 21 15, 29 30, 22 20. The winners, Subakja and Vijaya of Indonesia. And the next match coming up.
And here we have the women's doubles coming on to court.